A 3D print's weakest strength is in between the layers. If it is going to break, it's usually two layers letting go. So let's take a look. I have a test print. This is just a rectangle, and I printed two of them. This one was printed up and down, so the layers go this way. I've got another version right here that was printed laying down. So in this one, the layers go this way. These two prints have very different uh, levels of strength. So let's take a look first. This one here, I told you that this, uh, it's most likely to snap between the layers. So if I go and I try to break it, it wasn't that hard to break. And you can see it did snap in between the layers. If I take this same tart, except this time printed horizontally, this one should be quite a bit stronger. You can see I'm putting the same amount of force and it is bending, but it is not breaking. You can see some stress fractures ha forming at the top there, but it hasn't snapped. The other one had snapped long ago. Here are two three millimeter pins. And I printed both of these different. This one right here was printed standing straight up and down, and you can see the layers running horizontally. This one was printed laying down. You can see the layers running the opposite direction. Now there's an advantage to each way. This way you tend to get a rounder pin, but it's not going to be very strong. Those layers are going to snap like nothing else. This direction is a much, much stronger print, just like that square that I printed. But the problem with this pin, it's hard to tell on camera here, but it is not perfectly round. It's not going to be as smooth, but it is going to be significantly stronger. So you need to plan that out. I keep coming back to this octopus print because it's got a, a couple of neat features. These tentacles are printed with horizontal print lines. So the direction of strength is, is good. These tentacles are strong. But if we have a good look at these fingers right here, you'll notice that the directions of the print layers are going in this direction. That makes them not very strong. So I have to be very careful because these fingers would snap off very quickly, whereas these tentacles are actually pretty strong. You need to factor in those layers of strength when you are printing your parts. Which direction do you want to print it in? Which direction do you need the most strength? And that is a priority. You also should factor in which direction it's going to print nicely, but sometimes strength is most important. Here is a hip joint from a large Lego man that one of my students made. We looked at it and the biggest priority was these hip joints right here. These pins needed to be as strong as possible. And he's also got these little tiny flared out pieces that are just meant to help lock it into place. Now he was concerned that these needed to be strong. So the biggest priority was that the layers had to run this way. If the layers had run this way, these little fingers here would have no strength and would snap off like nothing. So we printed it this direction, even though printing in this direction meant that this curve wasn't going to be as pretty, even though it meant that these pegs had to be printed with support. And that's all because of his priority in the strength. Which direction did he need that strength to come? 